Hello everyone, this is again Alex from EO's Marketplace News. Welcome to our channel. I will be your host for today, so stay tuned and just relax, okay? I will be um, giving you updates about EO's and other currencies. And, of course, I will be sharing to you guys some cool events that will be coming up. Alright, so stay tuned. Okay, so here guys, um, for today's news, it's brought to you by PCN, Preferred Currency News. But wait, before I start giving you the details of the news, I want to remind, as always in our videos, I want to remind everyone who's watching this video to remember that you need to make your own research on your preferred currency right um so every token or coin that we will be mentioning on our videos or we mentioned already in our videos it is only a suggestion or it serves as a suggestion um at the end of the day you still need to research your own coin or token and then you can decide then where to invest what to expect or um, what is important is you really need to do your own decision what's best for yourself, right? What you think is best for you. All right, so moving forward for our news today, it's Alberta Treasury branches or ATB making life easier for Canadian crypto businesses. Another good news for everyone. Okay, so for EOS, um, for EOS holders or EOS users out there, I'm going to invite you some to some cool events guys okay that will be the eos hackathon on november 11 um i think yeah uh, yeah uh, november 10 and 11 and on november 12 there will be a scaling blockchain so watch out for that guys all right so let's start moving forward again for our news today brought to you by pcn or preferred currency news alberta treasury branches or atb making life easier for canadian crypto businesses so let me give you the full details okay atb opening bank accounts for crypto ventures who comply with kyc or aml rules the bank says it believes that blockchain technology and crypto assets are here to stay okay while most banks shy away from servicing bitcoin related businesses due to the unregulated nature of the crypto space alberta treasury branches atb has welcomed distributed ledger technology or dlt startups with open arms giving them highly efficient banking services to aid their operations all right here sorry um, crypto startups still need banks to survive. Now, the vision Satoshi Nakamoto, anonymous creator of Bitcoin, was to put in place an entirely decentralized peer-to-peer -peer monetary system that would function in a frictionless way without interference from governments or traditional financial institutions. Now, however, for digital currency businesses to survive in the real world and carry out some primary activities such as hiring staff, purchasing equipment, rent an office, pay taxes and utilities, these startups need to have access to fiat currency. Amidst the backdrop, it's almost impossible for businesses in the crypto space to flourish without some, from, um, some form of banking services. Banks still feeling threatened. One of the many excellent features of crypto assets is making it possible for people to send and receive funds almost anonymously. But in the end, the traditional finance system, all payments must go through institutions and complying with strict regulations, generally requiring them to have access to the details of every transaction passing through their database okay so here um while the privacy and anonymity that comes with digital assets might be a good thing for many 
bad actors have often tried to get, uh, to take advantage of the of the system to perpetrate crimes like money laundering. Wow, Ooh, that's not good. Although many nations across the globe have started regulating their Bitcoin and altcoin industries, making it mandatory for cryptocurrency exchanges, initial coin offering or we say uh, we call ICO organizers and other virtual uh, virtual currency linked businesses to conduct proper KYC or AML checks. A vast array of banks globally still run away from crypto. ATB supports Bitcoin link businesses, Alberta Treasury Branches or ATB, a financial services company providing financial services to more um, 740,000 Albertans, has made it clear that it firmly believes that distributed ledger technology or DLT and cryptos are, um, are to stay and as such. The bank has been rendering quality services to crypto startups in Alberta who comply with the relevant KYC and AML regulations. So with the crypto space suddenly moving toward the mainstream with each passing day, it's only a matter of time before a good number of forward-thinking banks like ATB join the Bitcoin bad wagon. All right, guys, so that's the news for today. Alberta Treasury Branches, or we call ATB, making life easier for Canadian crypto businesses. Okay, so guys, if you want to get more and be the first one to get notified of the new updates, don't forget to subscribe at preferredcurrency.com. Okay, again, subscribe at preferredcurrency.com or this page. Subscribe now. Um, for preferredcurrency.news, you can use PayPal for monthly recurring um, $15. That's only $15 per month fiat. Or use the Coinbase option below here. All right, and for annual subscription, it's only one hundred eighty dollars, guys. So that's to be paid with crypto. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. All right, now guys, this is also a good website to visit. Um, it's preferredcurrency.news. Here you you can have the videos if you don't like reading. Let's be honest, guys. Not all of us like reading, right? They want to hear or they want to listen to news, and they want to discover news from other websites, from other um, from other YouTube pages, right? So you are really um lucky to watch this video. <laughs> all right. So I'm just kidding. So guys. Uh, preferred currency news what we do this information is presented as news and education so you must do again you must do your own final research to make your own decisions for yourself so there are available videos also in this website so you can just click on one and then it will take you to the right path right okay or if you like you can contact us, um, your name is required, your email is required, of course, um, subject in your message, and then just click send, okay? <clears throat> Alright, don't forget to subscribe. Now, moving forward, guys, have you heard about the EOS Hackathon? Alright, so those of you who haven't heard of this event, there will be a, <coughs> excuse me, there will be a EOS hackathon on November 10 here. November 10 and 11 in San Francisco. Okay, in San Francisco. Now, there has been a series of hackathons already. Last June 9 to 10 in Hong Kong. Last August, Sydney. Last September in London. Um, last October 15 to 18. Oh, no, no, no. It's still ongoing. Oh, no, no, it will be on October 15 to 18, guys, in Africa Virtual. Okay, so for those of you who are in Africa Virtual or who, who is planning to go to Africa Virtual, buy tickets now, join, okay? And on November 10 to 11, San Francisco. 
Okay, now the EU's global hackathon series is a first of its kind event in the world of blockchain that serves Block.1's goal of building more secure and connected world. Wow. So the grand prize of the event will be $1,500,000. Cha-ching! USD in prices, swag, gadgets, and travel. Okay, so for more infos about the event, you can visit eoshackathon.io. Okay, again, guys, eoshackathon.io. Okay, now let's check out the event in San Francisco. But guys, before that, after San Francisco for the EOS Hackathon on November 10 and 11, there will be another event, guys, which is the Scaling Blockchain. And the Scaling Blockchain will be just, I think, one mile away from the, the, um, the place or what do you call this one? Um, from where the hackathon is, um, or the location rather, the location of the hackathon, I think it's easy for you to go to um, Scaling Blockchain here, that will be on November 12, Monday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. PST, and then location will be in Color Block Art Museum, in San Francisco, of course, I told you it's only... Um, I think it's only one mile away from the location of the hackathon. So, it's really um, convenient. You can check the map here. You just click view map and then it will take you here. You can see view map or you can search on your GPS or what application you have there in order for you to search and locate, right? So let me tell you about this um, this one later on. But before that, let's go back to the EOS Hackathon first. Okay, if you want to register, guys, register now. Now the challenge, the Hackathon challenge will be released on the day of the event to ensure a level playing field for all participating. In the meantime, start getting familiar with documentation on the EOS IO developer portal and get involved with the community through your EOS IO social channels and Telegram groups. So build on change, build on EOS IO. The EOS Global Hackathon Series is a first of its kind of, okay, kind event in the world of blockchain supporting the growth of a decentralized global community. Okay, see you in San Francisco. So guys, I heard that um, the location for San Francisco is much bigger. I think two to three times bigger than the location from London's hackathon. So I hope, guys, more and more people would come to this event. All right. Okay. Now here, schedule on Saturday, November 10. It will start at 9. And here. Doors open, breakfast served, opening ceremony, presentations for warm partners, coding begins, lunch served, break, breakout sessions, dinner serves, uh, served rather, pitch workshop, pitch practice session. Oh wow, midnight stack, hack through the night. The venue will be open and staffed overnight if you like to hack through the night wow this is really exciting guys okay so i hope to see you on san francisco or in san francisco all right again mark your calendars that will be on november 10 to 11 in san francisco okay now again moving forward after the eos hackathon guys on November 12, again, you can also attend the Scaling Blockchain. This is for event for developers, entrepreneurs, and investors to learn about the next generation of decentralized application or what we simply call dApps to scale to real-world applications. That will be in November 12, 2018, also in San Francisco. Okay, so Scaling Blockchain developed for real-world applications. Okay, here, let me give you this um, information. Scaling Blockchain, guys, is an event for developers, entrepreneurs, and investors to learn about the next generation of decentralized applications. Yeah, I told you earlier, right? 
EOS is now the largest DAO platform in terms of the number of users and transactions and second biggest in market cap after Ethereum. Congratulations to EOS. Okay, so you can get the opportunity to network with EOS community members from more than 11 countries. DAP developers and blockchain investors learn um, learn about the status of EOS network, technology progress in the blockchain world, and how to develop scalable blockchain applications. So join us and network with the best talent in the blockchain world. So who should attend? Investors, angels, developers in any domain, EOS token holders or community members. Guys, take note. What can you expect? Talks from some EOS block producers and DAP developers. Workshops to get you started with developing EOS. So beginners are also um, invited. Networking with Silicon Valley investors, industry experts and leading DAP developers. Demos and introduction to some of the cool applications that are changing how we interact with the real world. Okay, important note, VIP ticket holders can join us for following networking opportunities. Breakfast with blockchain nerds, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Happy hour and party after hours with EOS community, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Alrighty, so guys, again, please, please mark your calendar so that you won't miss this big events. All right, especially who are living in San Francisco that is very interested for this event. Mark your calendars now again, November 10, 11, and 12. Okay, November 10, 11, 12 for the EOS Hackathon and on November 12, Scaling Blockchain. All right, so for more infos, you can visit their website. It's um, www.evenbride.com or uh, for the EOS a hackathon you can visit eoshackathon.io all right okay so guys i think that's the latest news for today and latest update cool updates right now thank you so much for watching the, this video this has been again alex at your service now signing off bye